Today, we're going to talk about an agile management hack called the gesture. So when is the gesture useful? Sometimes we face situations where we have to challenge deep assumptions or habits. We might have tried traditional methods such as brainstorming or root cause analysis, but without success. We remain stuck in the politically correct. We might experience groupthink. Everyone's trying to second guess everyone else. And in the end, we make a compromise no one is actually happy with. Moreover, a person who would dare telling the truth would risk embarrassment, open conflict, and sometimes take a personal risk. This is where the gesture comes into play. The gesture is a role that a person takes in an activity. This person may challenge anything during this activity. Here, for example, the gesture challenges true intentions. The gesture is also well placed to help bypass the traditional chain of command when needed. Another typical use of the gesture is to fight off analysis paralysis. Now let's have a look at the good practices for the gesture hack. First, anyone can take the gesture role. Second, the gesture typically uses a prop, such as a hat, to identify himself and de-dramatize. Third, the gesture lasts for a specific meeting or activity, since it's not a permanent role. Fourth, the gesture only asks powerful questions, then lets conversation unfold. Fifth. The gesture tries to use humorous or provocative language in order to trigger reaction. And last, the gesture may not blame someone personally. You might wonder, do I really need all this gesture stuff? But the thing is, unless the people you're doing it with are already very comfortable to be challenged in a direct and profound way, doing it without a gesture will create a terrible atmosphere, resentment and between trouble, which is why the gesture is a hack and not rational practice. Remember, a hack is immediate, emotional, visible and requires little preparation.